where sports holdings will have to pay the full 24% corporate tax this year as it has failed to get an extension of its investment tax allowance. The company has been paying a corporate tax rate of 11% under the five-year investment tax allowance, which expired at the end of last year. Its CEO, Ruben Emerinanalingam, says the port services operator has yet to appeal against the government's decision not to extend the investment tax allowance. Um, well, it was rejected. I mean, I don't know if you know that part, but yeah, so since then, no. No, no, we have not appealed. Uh, we may appeal uh, going forward, but we have not appealed yet. Um, I, I think it's, you know, we have to be cautious as to why, why it was rejected. I think, uh, you know, I think let, let's see how the government fares with GST and the lower, lower fuel price, etc. Um, but I think we, we may have grounds to appeal maybe later. I mean, we still do think it is actually uh, something that we should get. You know, many other companies which do a lot less, um, how you say, capital expenditure on local products are getting it. The ones who spend on foreign products also get it. So we do a lot of our capex with local companies. So, so I think it's something that we probably deserve. And, and I think it, it makes us uncompetitive with regards to other players if we are not getting it and they are getting it, for example. So. Ruben was speaking to reporters after the group's AGM yesterday. Where Sports completed the construction of its latest container terminal, the City 7, in December last year, which saw its handling capacity increased by 1.5 million TEUs to 11 million TEUs per year. The port operator is going to start the construction of City 8 this year with a capital expenditure of 400 million ringgit. The company is also waiting for the government to announce the container tariff hike, which has not been increased over the last 12 years. Kamaru Azhar, BHTV.